Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Surge XT and I have no idea what we're gonna make today. So let's just go ahead and make something interesting by uh, putting some stuff together. So let's bring back our volume here. Okay, so what we could do, let's check out some interesting wavetables. Let's see what we have here. So let's see what we got in the Venus theory. We got some acid, analog hybrids. Let's see what some of these are. Chaos, interesting. That would be cool to put a slow LFO on something like that. So let's go to the SLFO and then kind of just give a little bit of modulation here to the morph, something kind of like that. But let's keep this free running and just make this much slower. some formants. Actually, let's put that on a different LFO at a different rate. That might be kind of interesting. So let's do LFO 2, and then let's do the formant. Maybe some of unison voices. I think we're making a pad today. Let's pick up the right filter. So let's check out the vintage line. Let's see what that will be like. It might be interesting. See what other ones we have here. So type one, compensate. Let's try that. Some of these LFOs are a little bit too fast. Let's bring these down. Okay, so that's cool for the uh, first oscillator. Let's go to the second one and turn this bad boy on and maybe give it some nice unison, maybe like seven or eight voices. Maybe eight. It might be nice to mix in with that. So let's bring our first one down, second one up, and kind of mix these two in. Okay, we need a little bit of key tracking on this filter, so let's kind of bring this up here.
Now we can always use a little bit of something on the top end. So we have a third oscillator. So maybe let's unmute this guy. Mute these first two for now and kind of maybe put this one up one octave. Maybe pick something out of the wavetable category. Again, there might be something interesting that we can use with. Let's see what else Venus Theory has. Maybe Elevate, that might be interesting. Yeah, so something like that to kind of just sneak in on the top. So let's unmute both of these, bring the third one down and kind of fade this guy in here. Might be kind of nice here, so what we can do is we can add a little bit of EQ to kind of clean things up just a little bit. So for our EQ, maybe a graphic EQ, that might be, might be kind of interesting. So let's go for an init here. So we have a couple of different ones here. So I bet you... A little of that down. Get some 60 in there. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We haven't even really done effects yet, which is kind of nice, because generally if it comes out like this. It can generally go in a pretty cool direction. Maybe a little bit more of 60. Okay, so we have something like this at the moment here. So let's add a little bit of chorus and maybe ensemble. That might be kind of interesting. Let's see what we have for glassy heights. Let's bring this mix down. Nope, that's a little too much here. Let's go to our regular chorus and maybe maybe deep might be interesting. And for these, I kind of like the modulation of the rate kind of slow and then a lot of depth. That might be kind of cool. And then maybe a little bit of delays. We kind of got to add delays here. So delay, maybe something like, make something interesting here. So maybe we can go for <laughs> chorus wider chorus. We kind of did some of those ping pong one over eight. That might be kind of cool. Let's slow, but change the mix here. Something like that. And then for the final thing, the reverb probably, I'd like to use the external reverb with some Valhalla Vintage Verb and kind of give us a little juice here and see what we have going on. Maybe the filter opens a little bit too fast. We're kind of already at four. So let's bring this up maybe a little bit more, maybe to six or seven.
you know, maybe a little bit too slow. Let's kind of split the difference here. Maybe five might be kind of cool. And then decay, we got one. So we can bring the decay up a little bit. So three seconds to decay till it lands at this sustain level. Maybe bring that up a bit. Uh, we don't really have sustain for our amp. We could bring that down just a little bit like that and see what that sounds like. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit too fast. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Freaking using a lot of CPU though. But yeah, so we're gonna save it like this. I don't really know the name yet. The... I'll figure out some name, but yeah, hopefully you learned something. If you like this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.